Hi everyone, in this video I'll be teaching you how to use advanced math functions in Java. And the advanced math or yeah, the advanced math method I'm talking about are power function, square roots, max, minimum, ceiling, floor, random, and absolute value functions. Alright, let's get started. In order to use those functions, we gotta import a library. Without a library, then we can't use those functions. And it'll cause an error saying that you need a class for those functions, which we really don't want. Instead, let's add a library. And the following syntax are import java.lang dot capitalize the M in math and that's the library that we want to import oh now let's have a variable let's have byte for our data type and name it name the variable B oh yeah make sure you have this in byte in the parentheses too because without it it will cause an error saying loss of precision because those methods are meant for double data types. In order to bypass those errors, just simply type in the parentheses in a data type inside it. Yeah, inside of it. And next, you type in math dot pow, meaning power function. And let's do let's do nine two. And basically we're doing nine square. If I change this, then it will be nine cube, and then this will be nine four, nine to fourth power, etc. So that's how you do it for the math power function. And let's output our line, so we know that we get the we yeah we created our syntax in the correct method. Job C, no errors, that's pretty good. Java, 81. 9 square is 81, and we got it right. Alright, next one, let's do. Well, let me show you without this byte function, it'll cause an error. See, possible loss of precision. And it says this method is meant for double. And this is, like, byte is required to put in a parentheses format that I had before. So byte. And that's how you do it. Our next one on the list is square root. Uh, it's the following syntax is square root like this. And let's find a square root of 81. So Java C, no errors, nine. Um, we got it right. Let's say if it's not an even number, set or not an even number, like a number like this, and it's kind of hard to difficult. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to get a square root of this. So we'll save that, clear screen. Java C and Java nine, and that's not right. Because we want the decimal format for square root of 82, so in order to do that, we have to make this yeah make this uh, a double. And let's do this now. All right, that's the correct function right here, or not function, correct answer for this right here. If you want to find a square root of 82, then this will be good to use. Alright, next one on the list is the max function. And let's use byte for this again. Byte. It's max right here. Alright, so basically, whatever you type in, it will find the max function will find the maximum value that you entered for. Uh, wait, let's keep it B actually. I don't know why I changed the max. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, max function, whatever you type in, and it'll, it'll look for the highest value that you enter for this right here. And answer will be 127. And let's do Java C. Uh, uh, got an error. Oh yeah, I forgot. Make sure you have your byte. Alright, Java, 127, okay, that's good now. Alright, now let's do minimum, and we'll find the minimum, and the minimum should be 82. Let's do Java C, Java, 82. Alright, that's correct. Now let's use the ceiling method right here. Well, I don't know if it's really ceiling, but it's close to ceiling I say yeah I just call it ceiling and let's make this double because basically seal or yeah something like that will run up to the nearest whole number but I'll be splitting more later though so basically whatever you have for like if you have like 1.01 I'll run I'll round to the highest whole number which will be 2 if you have a number like if you have one number right here above just one the whole integer then it will round up to the nearest high number which is two and I'll be compiling this and yeah it's two and it's kind of funky right here well I don't think yeah you don't have to have a double actually you can have a byte too and make sure you have a byte here and this still work Two. All right, that's good. Our next method is, uh, yeah, floor. All right, let's do 199. All right, so basically, floor, whatever you have, like 1.99, for the whole num, if you have the whole number one, and this, well, it doesn't matter what you have for this. If it's 99, it'll still be one. Because it'll look at the integer right here. It'll be one no matter what. If you had another integer like 100, then it'll be 100. So basically, yeah, it doesn't matter. If you have this right here. And it's more useful if you use scanner input. Which I'll be showing you how to use it later on. Save this. Java C. No errors. Java. It's one. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now let's, let's do random method right here. Alright, so basically, we'll find a, a random number. And I'll show you with only this function right here because you need to add more stuff in order to get outside the decimals or, yeah. Save that. Let's clear screen first, actually. Java C. Java. It'll be zero, which we really don't want. Just let's run again. It'll be zero again. Yeah, we don't want that. All right, let's use the pindas function right here. Let's do another parentheses here, another parentheses here, and let's do times 100. So we can get outside of the zeros. Okay, let's compile that. Oh yeah, make sure you don't forget about the semicolon. All right, clear screen. Job. Oops, I don't mean to press that. All right, 41. Let's run again. 64. Let's run that again. 84. 77. 3. 54. Etc. All right. Let's see if I add function one. Just for fun of it, let's add one. Oh yeah. Make sure. Uh, possible loss of precision. Oh yeah. Let's do short because we bypass the limit. Oh. 
I'm going to press that. Java C. Okay. Short possible loss of precision. Again, let's do int now. Uh, int. Alright, well, yeah, somehow I think it bypassed that 32,000 limit, and it will work for that. So, plus one. Um, let's see what the outputs. 17. Well, I really didn't see any difference with the ant. To save memory, wait, did this stop? Oh, never mind, it didn't stop. Yeah, to save memory, uh, let's delete one and just buy it instead. Because once you're into programming games, it'll be nice to have your data type as low as possible. Because I really don't see any difference right there. Twenty-one, three, forty-nine, fifty-eight. Wait, I, I think I see why we need that. Wait, it's all random numbers, but you get an idea. If you want to add one, then add one. It's up to your preference, though. It's up to your perspective, actually. All right, well, the next one is absolute values. Let's delete that. And the function for that is absolute. And have let's say let's have five minus one hundred. It'll be negative ninety five, but since we're doing the absolute value, then we should get a positive ninety five instead. Let's clear screen. Job C, no errors. Right, it's ninety five. Let's see. And that's how you do it. And yeah, well, from the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you more about this function with scanners and the assignment operators that I'll be teaching you guys how to use.